a five hour mobile event going on right now, but I'm, as you can see, at home. Why? Overall at home because my wife is amazing, but here's the deal. My baby boy, Spencer, hasn't been feeling very good the past couple of days. I really started to get worried about him yesterday, so I asked the neighbor if she wouldn't mind coming and check on him a couple of times today. And my wife was like, you know, I was thinking, why don't you just stay home? And, you know, I'll see if Brandon can help me. Brandon's my older stepson. So, Brandon agreed to help his mom with the event. And uh, it was great timing because yesterday, well, last night, Spencer didn't look good. Like, I was, I was worried, you know, this was it. Uh, he's going to be 19 in uh, November. So, I rushed him to the emergency room vet. And um, it wasn't, you know, his blood work looked good for an old, old fella, the vet said. And uh, he got fluids, some antibiotics, um, vitamins, stuff like that, and, you know, sent home. So I'm chilling with Spencer today while my wife and uh, her oldest son uh, does this mobile event. So it helps to have an amazing freaking wife or husband or whatever your thingy is <laughs> or just partner uh, that can, can do stuff for you and, and help you uh, out in life when... Moments happen where you're probably not going to be the best, um, the the best to do what you're supposed to do. If that makes sense, I think that makes sense, right? Fortunately for us, um, stepson Brandon has his own ATM business, so he knows what to do and he knows how to help his mom. Really, he needs to be the the muscle for it, right? Because she's got it. She's got it under control. Otherwise. And that's the story of why we got a five hour mobile event going on and I'm getting ready to eat some pizza and start to watch some Jeffrey Dahmer. Don't judge me, but I love murder shows and stuff like that. Spencer is resting right now and uh, hoping he comes back to uh, start to be himself pretty soon. He's a little bit better today, but still not himself. Not, not, not quite there yet.